And the car that inspired me to uh, get a project for myself is supposed to be leaving today. I have it partially disassembled for transportation, but I'm, I'm going to be donating this to a school in upstate New York that's doing the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang play. Um, this is the car that I built from scratch with uh, found objects. And um, the guy's supposed to be driving down today. But I got the, most of the interior out. Got the dash. Um, the dash, the seats. The seats were actually pretty hard. Everyone complains about modern cars are hard to work on, but the bolts were hard to get to, for me at least. I had to take the front ones out, lean it back, and uh, then get the rears. The uh, rear seat wasn't too bad, except there were, it was like a nest of ants that were on the back deck, which actually I forgot I was going to bring in some uh, pesticide to spray in here maybe. Uh, maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. All right, we got it off the frame, and um, as you can see, the rockers are totally trashed. So I'm still not gonna cut those off just yet. Um, I just wanna place it over top of the Camry just to see where I'm at. And that, you can see where they've been patched with the, uh, hold on, let me go over to the other side. Yeah, you can see where they've been patched and somebody just globbed in body filler and um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm probably just going to um, cut them off right here. Leave this little little uh, transition for the door and weld this directly to the uh, outside frame on the Camry. Um, I be, won't be doing any more welding on this today because we don't have a whole lot of time. And my son is also using the welder for a project for school, which is pretty, it's a dragon, it's pretty cool. Actually, I changed my mind. Since this is up in the air and I gotta do this anyway, I'm gonna just cut along here 
and do the best I can. I'm not really that great at cutting straight lines, and this is just about gone, but I'll see what I can do. I do have my bed frames up top supporting it, uh, supporting the body, so hopefully that'll be okay. All right, well, I'm gonna to have to stop for today on this project. I got quite a bit more that I need to, for it to go down. Um, I am tall, so it's, even though the steering wheel's like way down right now, it, it, it would be drivable for me. But, um, and again, obviously this was not the ideal match of cars, but this is what I had available to me. Um, you see, I have bed frames that I saved that I have welded holding the body together uh, for, for this and the reason why I can't do any more today is I have family things to do and I also had to get this off of the lift because the lift that it was on is a lift that I use every day um, at work so I'm quite pleased with the way it's working out so far and I can see this um, coming to the end you know to, to the end where I can get it down and in place and then work on the other stuff so probably be a few weeks before I get a chance to finish it up finish up setting it down I mean obviously but it's not as goofy as I thought it would look and um, it will be higher than you know most people would like because I can't put it over top of the rockers uh, I guess I could notch it out or something, but I'm, I'm not doing that. So anyway, I hope this, uh, hope this helps someone else out that wants to do something stupid like this with a front-wheel drive car that's not really a good match. But anyway, like I said, this is what I had available. I'm very happy with it. So thanks for checking it out.